up everybody it's bdf44 coming at you with another video so i got another one of these weirdo comparisons um that i'd like to give you it's a little weird because this one is like where'd you get these two names from the only thing they really have in common is that they're big and that they're european and that's it uh but i think this gives you me an opportunity to speak on both of these players which i really really appreciate from two very different eras by the way um the first name uh, is arvidi sabonis uh and we're talking about passing particularly no other uh skill set um we're not comparing the two players. We're just saying who passes better. Um, between Arvidas Sabonis, of course, and Nikola Djokic. Uh, and I thought it was laughable, honestly. Djokic is a far superior passer than Arvidas. Arvidas was a very, very gifted passer as a center, but Djokic is not a gifted passer as a center. Djokic is a gifted passer as anything. <laughs> I put him in the category of some of the great point guards have ever played this game in terms of being accurate passers. I think about Magic Johnson, LeBron James. I think about um, uh, John Stockton, Steve Nash. Um, who else is, is on the list that comes quickly? Uh, ben Simmons in this era. You got guys uh, like, uh, you know, you get the point. You know the names. Chris Paul. Um, it's many great, great passers out there. Uh, Jokic is, is, is amongst the elite of them, in my opinion. I don't think there are probably 12 people who have ever played this game that pass better than him, honestly, point guard or otherwise. He's just extremely, extremely gifted in that area. Um, Arvidas Sabonis, to me, just to go back and harpen on, harken on his game, I didn't get a chance to see a whole lot of Arvidas until the tail end of his career, and that's the story with everybody in the, in the United States because he didn't come over until later on in his career. Uh, but when he did get here, he ran sack. He went crazy. Um, he played great for the Portland Trail Blazers. He was a consistent starting center for them who could stretch the floor before it was cute to do so for centers. He was one of the first stretch fives of, of my memory. I know that uh, Bill Lambeer came before him of, of the Detroit Pistons bad boy fame. He was a center that shot threes. Um, and I know that um, Manute Bowl also shot threes. But I can't think of too many centers who shot threes um, in that era outside of those two. Those names are the ones that come to mind. Arvidas did that. And Arvidas did it at a very nice clip. Uh, he put four fits on the Lakers at times and really made things very, 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 very hard for our team. Uh, but nevertheless, we were able to overcome them when it mattered most. Um, most people remember 2000, uh, game seven, one of the great games of all time, the Lakers and the Blazers. I was very very impressed with Arvidas Sabonis' game back in the day, even though he was a slow guy. Um, he played up to speed despite being a slow-footed player uh, because of his passing ability, because of his shooting ability, because of his overall smarts. Somebody can less than respect for Arvidas' game because I did get a chance to see enough of him to know how awesome he was. Uh, Djokic is just different, though. Jokic is different. And, 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 and two, RV has played amazing before I get into Jokic. He played amazing before he got to the league. He's a legend where he's from. And if you uh, Google him and you see his numbers, you know that he was also a very elite Hall of Fame caliber player before he got to the, to the league. Um, Jokic is, is just elite as well. Uh, he's showing us what he is doing on a greater scale. Uh, it's hard to compare the two in general because, of course, of the age difference and times that they played in their prime in the NBA. Um, Jokic was obviously drafted here, and he's young right now. Arvidas got here. I think he didn't start playing until he was well over 30. So it's kind of hard to say who's doing what as it pertains to the NBA. But what I can say is Jokic's overall skill set um, is just superior to a lot of guys, really. And I don't think anybody would have called Arvidas a bonus a superstar in the NBA. Nikola Jokic is 100% undoubtedly a superstar in the NBA. So, you know, again, we're not comparing the two players. We're just talking about the passing. And uh, Jokic is like a he's, a he's a gifted, gifted point guard in a center's body. I mean, there's nowhere on the floor he can't get the ball accurately um, to a pinpoint. I mean, he's, he's just like many of the great passers in this league. He has a back behind the back. He has eyes behind his head. He got all this different um, stuff that, that goes along with that. Obviously, because he's uh, seven feet or close to it, <laughs> He can see over the top of defenses with ease. And, um, you know, he, he, anywhere on this floor, he's dangerous because of his shooting ability and his passing ability. So, um, yeah, man, you, you, super max guy. I mean, you, you're going to pay him 
every bit of his money when it's time, Denver. And if you don't, you're going to lose him. That's that's the caliber player he is. So, yeah, man, um, and his scoring has gotten significantly better. When we talk about Nikola Jokic, the knock on him early on was that as great as a passer as he is and as gifted as a shooter and scorer as he can be, he tend to be a bit bashful scoring the ball from game to game on a consistent basis. That has been shored up. If I'm not mistaken, he had a 50-point game a couple days ago. He had a 40-something point game early in the season. He's having an MVP caliber season right now. Um, he's not going to get it because of LeBron James, and I think people got Joel ahead of him. But Jokic is in my top five MVP candidate uh, conversation at this point, just off his numbers alone. Uh, he's special, man. Special, and Denver's playing good enough to keep him in that conversation. So, yeah, man, that's pretty much what I got. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm out.